what's up guys and welcome back to another video right into my youtube channel today i'm gonna basically tell you how to fix every kind of not launching or not starting uh properly issue currently having with rainbow six siege so stick to the end guys this will be a step-by-step -step tutorial and in the end you will perfectly know what to do in order to fix this kind of issue before we start right into the video i just want you guys know or let you guys know that i would really really appreciate it if you would just leave a like a comment or a subscription right into my youtube channel it would really make my day and help me out as a little youtuber as i am especially subscribing would be such a big support for me guys you would support my work on youtube a little bit and i'm gonna really really be thankful for that and i'm gonna thank you for that so anyways i would just say let's get right started so the first step i would recommend doing for everybody is going to be to navigate to the very bottom of your screen where you're going to right click your taskbar and open up your task manager the next step is going to be to navigate to the top left corner of your screen clicking into processes and once you click processes i want you to simply click one of those random one of those random processes doesn't really matter which one type in r in order to find rainbow six siege if nothing pops up it's good for you if something pops up simply hit right click and end the task once you finish with that simply enter task manager again now you need to search for your uh down your uh launcher shortcut for me it's steam or your in-game shortcut so uh rainbow six each on your desktop and if you don't have it there simply navigate to the bottom left corner of your screen click onto the windows symbol and use your windows search function in order to find it so once you found it simply drag it right back onto your desktop let's quickly come back take the shortcut right click it go to the very bottom where it says properties once this tab pops up click onto compatibility and simply copy my, my settings so let's quickly run through it um run this program in compatibility mode for you select windows 8 you're going to enable that disable the disable full screen optimizations and enable run this program as an administrator hit apply and okay i would personally recommend to restart your pc afterwards and once it is restored you should be able to see this little administrator symbol right into your shortcut afterwards i want you to simply double click it and launch the game over the launcher or launch the game instantly and this will probably fix your issue yeah guys that's it for the video i hope that i could actually help you out of this one if it was like that just leave a like a comment or a subscription i'm gonna really be thankful for that and yeah, I guess I'm really sorry if I couldn't help you, but I'm just going to do my best in order to help you out. Either way, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. See you at the next one and bye.